welcome to Burden Battles, where I'm Joe. Hey, Chad's not with us right now, but uh, as we worked our way through that Bottled and Bond tournament, as you know, the workers of Heaven Hill have gone on strike, so we are not going to show you any videos until that strike is concluded that features the Heaven Hill product. So the next video we had up that we'd already recorded features some Heaven Hill products, so we're going to cut that out. However, at the end of the video that we recorded, Chad tried Lafroig for the first time. It was so good as I went through and edited that, we made the determination that needed to be its own video. So without any further ado, let's get right into that and see what Chad thinks about Lafroig. So before we reveal this, guys, if you've been watching this show, I don't know, a month ago, whenever the hell it was, whenever these go out, I had the opportunity to go to a friend's house, thanks Lonnie for this, and uh, try some whiskey, right? That's not bourbon. And I tried a few different things. I tried a couple different Jamesons over at his place. And I tried a Laphroaig and some bullshit Japanese, Chinese whiskey. I don't know what it was. It's awful. But the Laphroaig is the nastiest shit Why do you I've pass ever it? Why had. Do you it's, pass it's, it? You're getting ready to, bud. <laughs> so <laughs> Chad <laughs> opened his big mouth and said, I'll try it on a show. I will. Well, you know what? Today's the day. Lonnie brought over the Lafroy and left it with me for Chad to try it on the air. And if you think I'm trying it with you, you've lost your freaking mind. No, I don't think you are. That's probably enough. That's plenty. Let's see the bottle so we can tell everybody at home what it is. So what this is, is Lafroy aged 10 years, Islay single. It's not even an English. Islay. It's not even an English. Something about 1815, rich flavored Scotch whiskey, nonsense, 86 proof. So it's Islay whiskey... What's that Scotland, mean? Which you, means it's going to be heavily peated, I think. Tastes like moss out of a pond that a dead carp's been rolling in. I think so. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, a lot of people like this stuff. I think you're weird, but good for you. I, I can smell it from here. I've never tasted it, so it's going to be interesting, especially after I just drink some bourbon. Yeah, it'd be fine. So I was down at a bar in Columbus, Ohio a few days ago. And they had it on the shelf. My wife makes a comment, hey, is that the stuff that you got? And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and the bartender said, people love oh it. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's what I tried to tell you, but you don't want to listen to me. No, you you didn't open your mouth. You're drinking that. Why would any person ever drink something smell like that? It smells good, doesn't it? No. <laughs> Folks, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> and I'm, I try to be non-biased, but this doesn't smell good at all. Not even a little bit. People love it. No, they don't. Yeah. If you put this blind against up to 20 people who say they love it, I guarantee you they won't love it. There's no way. Against anything. <clears throat> Look, so what you got, you can't see my liquor cabinet, but Chad and I can see it. Do you think there's anything up there that's worse than that? That ain't even worse than that. I know I what you're looking at. I haven't tasted it. <laughs> I know what you're looking at. I, yes, I do. Let me taste it. I'll tell you. Yeah. Doesn't even smell good. Does it smell worse than when I put the dip cam lids on top of the? <laughs> no, you idiot. No, it's way worse than that. <clears throat> Tell me you don't smell band aids. <laughs> how can I taste it? If you're from Scotland, how can you drink this? If you yeah, there's I mean, something wrong with them. They were. Well, I'm not even gonna go there. That's no, mean. That, yeah, they'll kick your ass. You better be careful. <laughs> the, uh, the UK man. You got a brother in law from the UK. Yeah, but they don't like, drink. They but don't I would, drink I would, I would like to, I Irish whiskey where yeah, he's from. I would like to get his opinion on why. No, he drinks Irish whiskey. That's, that's bad. It's like. I haven't even tasted it. It's bad. You know what's bad about it? It's expensive. People pay more money for that than a. So here's a good thing is the difference in culture really is what it comes down to, I think. I mean, you know. Uh, this costs more than what we just drank in the bottled and bond tournament. Literally, it's more than the old Forester and the what, what, McKenna. Are you all right? No, it's, I can smell from here. Get it out. That, get it down you. <laughs> Tastes like cigarette ash. <laughs> Do you think that's what people taste when they get tobacco? <laughs> <laughs> and leather? Be. That's fresh. That's leather fresh, and tobacco. It tastes like fresh tobacco. 
I got a fresh tobacco note. Like, like, pipe tobacco ash. Pipe tobacco <laughs> ash. That's right. <laughs> Is that the worst whiskey you've ever had in your life? No, but it's close. What's worse than that? I'm not going to say it. Why? There, what, what could be worse? I People love this. And I'm going to tell you, but you're going to get mad at me for saying it, but I'm going to say it. If you say sweet weed, we're wrestling. No. Drink the rest of no, it. No, I, I don't want any more. I can't smell it no more. Here's the thing. <clears throat> First off, it's suspect because it's in a green bottle, in my opinion. They don't want the sun to get to it. I don't ever drink anything out of a green bottle if I can keep from it. And you can ask my wife. She'll tell you the same thing. But this... Don't you drink Heineken? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> that, this here... Rolling Rock? In my No. In my opinion, that is not good. It's not Are great. you going to get a bottle? I'd quit drinking... Forever, if that was the only thing left. Yeah, I'd drink. Either that or I'd figure out a way to make it better. Try to finish it, maybe? No. I don't know. I mean, I don't understand how this someone... right there is smoke and peat. Yeah, that's exactly... Smoke, cigarette smoke. Yeah. yeah. Ashes. I don't understand how someone can... I don't understand how someone can drink that and think, you know what? You, I like a good shot of Marlboro in the mouth. You ever, when we were kids, like have somebody put their cigarette out and like your drink on accident and you take a big swig of it? I had it done as an adult, not when I was a kid. <laughs> Both, but like, yeah. Like somebody put their cigarette out in your beer. That's, you think that's what that tastes like? Yes. Did you like it then? No. No, God. Mm. If you like this. Hey, good for you. Good for you. Uh, I'm going to stick with uh, bourbon. Straight bourbon whiskey. Yeah. Hey. Or straight rye whiskey. Or Canadian whiskey. Or Highland Scotch. But that... I will never taste that again. This is it. This is going to be it for Chad. Yeah. So the good thing is Lonnie dropped this over a couple days ago. He does not have to worry about me drinking all his whiskey. No. <laughs> Matter of fact... He could disappear for 10 years and come back and you'd still have it. It'd be right there in the right. same spot. <laughs> we could mark it. Hey, it's not good. But that's just my opinion. But the there good... might be a lot of people out there who love it. And, and you know what? That's the great thing about whiskey. Not just bourbon, not just rye, not just Canadian whiskey, not just Tennessee whiskey, not just scotch, not just Japanese whiskey. Not all whiskey. Everybody's got their own taste. Everybody's got their own decisions to make. And, you know, some sure. people like it. I don't, personally. Chad and I were not the same on our tournament today. That is not good. I'm going to finish it because you poured it, but it's not good. You take home some to your wife? You think, she, you think Megan would like that? <laughs> no. She's an old Forster fan, tried and true, but... Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that is awful. That's awful. I'm telling you, whoever gave you this bottle, I'm sorry. And I appreciate the fact that you paid good money for the bottle. And I appreciate the fact that you like it, but it's not good. Hey, That's look, but, but that does bring a good point up. This came from Lonnie, one of our viewers. Wanted us to try it. If you want us to try something, you know, send us a sealed bottle. But we were more than happy to feature it on an episode. Yeah. So, thank you, Lonnie. Uh, this is going back to you, Lonnie. I know Lonnie, so... I will say this. I have tried some some scotch that I really liked, but it's all Highland scotch. And I think there's a huge difference between the Highland scotch and the Islay scotch. Islay? No way. Right. It lit... Never mind. We, we beat a dead horse to death. But the, the good thing about Laphroaig and anything else, this is a conversation piece. You can have people over... Like Chad and I just did to try something new. I would never give somebody that at my house. No, I think it's, that's why I gave it to you because I thought it was hilarious to make you. Because I had to try it, so I thought it, you should have to try it's awful. it. That's awful. That awful. That's one of the reasons why I like to have a bunch of different bourbons so people can come over and try something they've never had. Um, I don't have a very extensive collection, but I have things that Chad hasn't had. The thing about it is, American palates are a lot different than European palates. God, I can smell it. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it, it's no different. I mean, you know, you can get on the YouTubes 
and watch uh, watch Europeans drink. Watch people from the UK they, or from Ireland drink bourbon, and they're just like they also eat carp. <laughs> we have some people that eat some carp close to us, bud. So don't kid yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know people close to us eat possum. Squirrels. Squirrels, you're a squirrel. You're, that's why you beat me to the punch. Hey, the good thing is, it's fun to have different things laying around so you can try it with your friends. It is, and everything's worth trying at least once. You know, hey. I was I was over at Chad's house, uh, it's been several months ago, tried a couple new things. I had the sweet wheat, and it was the best thing. That's I where had. I had the sweet wheat. I had to get me some sweet wheat. So share your it's bourbon. It's coming, folks. Straight makers and sweet wheat. The best. It's coming. Would you agree that one of the best things about collecting bourbon, if that's what you want to collect it, whatever, right? Whatever you want to call it, is to share it with your friends? Well, yeah. That's 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 the most fun part about it for me. Yeah, I don't have a bottle that seals. I'm not willing to cut if it's not cut, and I don't have a bottle that I'm not willing to pour for someone. That's it. Yeah. I I don't I'm sure I have a couple bottles. I don't open, uh, I, don't I don't get out the I don't get out the armor all and wax my bottles once a week because there are people who do. I'm not you, know, you know what I can tell you about those people? They, no, they drink Lafroig. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, folks. It is awful. Yay. Hey. Drinking bourbon's fun. Do it responsibly. Don't drink and drive. And this is going on way too long. Uh, and we're 28 minutes into it. Nobody's watching still. Nobody's watching now, but I hope Christopher Johnson's still watching. Christopher, if you see this, send me a direct message on Facebook, and we'll get you your bottle, your Bourbon Battles bottle of Maker's Mark. Christopher Johnson is our winner. Christopher, if you want to send me a message, you know when, and you have a couple weeks, let's say. Let's give him until September. Until the end of the bud let's non budget. Give him, let's give him. Okay. To the end of That's this fair. tournament. That's fair. So get all of us. Shoot me a message on the Facebook. I know you got to Facebook because that's how you entered to win. So we'll get you squared away. Till next time, I'm Joe. I'm Chad. Guys, thanks for watching. Come see us next time and check us out on the Facebook, TikToks, no, YouTube, and Instagrams where Chad does something with some filters. I don't even know how he does it. It's UV lights, bud. UV lights. Have a great day. Cheers.